What's new in AOSP Extended Version 8.5 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the official build of AOSP Extended Version 8.5 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. The first change you will notice is that the security patch has been updated to August 2021. The kernel they are using is Shiva's no-name kernel. SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing out of the box. And yes, AEAX or AOSP Extended has a new wallpaper, which is baked into this build. And other than the wallpaper, they have also added their own specific theme. So if you go into settings and then you can go into display styles and wallpapers, try to access the styles, bam, there it is. You can see the elegant, the extended, the black. So these are pre-baked themes which are present in the ROM now and the extended one and the elegant one do look pretty great. Next thing, let us head over to settings. Here we can go into extensions. We are in the status bar customization. Go into clock settings and you now have options to customize your clock. Then you can go into miscellaneous extensions. Here you have a toggle to enable or disable the colored status bar icons, which means you now have colored icons in your notification bar for the application which is sending you a notification. Scroll down. You now have a section called corners. If you disable this toggle of use framework values, you can now customize the rounded corner radius and you also have rounded style for system dialogues. Next up, we can head over to the second option, which is quick settings panel. Here you can go into notifications. You will notice two new options, notification headers and center your notification headers. Then we can head over to the navigation section, go into navigation bar, system navigation, settings for gestures, bam, here it is. You now have a toggle to enable or disable immersive navigation as well. Then we can head over to the last option, which is your system. Here and let us head over to customization and they have added some new switch styles. So here is the latest list of options for your switches. And I think the Android 12 switch might be the new one which they have added. Then they have also added some new lock screen clocks and the ones which they have added with this build are the Deadpool clock, the Fluid version 2 and the Spider-Man lock screen clock. Next up, if you go into the buttons customization in the system section, you will notice you have a toggle for per app volume, which is going to let you control volume for any media application on your device. And last but not the least, if you go into gaming mode, you now have a toggle to hide the call UI screen. And that is something which is going to be done when you are gaming. Next up, we can check for safety net. So here it is, device is not rooted right now. I have only installed the Magisk app to check for safety net. And as you can see, safety net is passing out of the box. We can also go to the Google Play Store and here we can check for Play Protect certification. There it is, device is certified. This means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. With respect to YouTube media playback, everything works absolutely fine. Live caption works, picture in picture works, of course, for picture in picture either you need to have YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube premium with respect to your Google photos you either get original which is going to count towards your account storage or high quality which is unlimited then we can also check whether the feature of portrait light is working or not so here it is let me try to edit this picture of my favorite football star and once we get the loading bar we have to wait for the loading bar to finish and looks like you're not getting the loading bar right now let us try to edit it one more time yep there it is finally the loading bar is there and after this we should have the feature of portrait light let us go into adjust portrait light yes here it is the feature is present and it is working without any issues super important thing to note over here portrait light only works on human objects if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend it is not going to work with respect to the assistant lady she is present and she is going to help you with the screen turned on and 
with the screen turned off as well then we can have a look at the app opening animations here it is you can see app opening animations pretty smooth no jitters no lags in the ui recents again everything is smooth but a smooth we can also have a look at our google feed to see if there are any lags or any jitters in the ui nope nothing like that everything is fast and smooth the transition from your google feed to the home screen is smooth as well and we can also try to switch between a few applications again no jitters no lags everything is absolutely fine and of course this is all but normal for aosp extended and there it is peeps that is what was new in aosp extended official build version 8.5 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you